Hey yo, welcome back to another video. Um you might um I just woke up not too long ago. So um I'm gonna tone down my speaking because I'm still feeling that relaxed sensation you get from waking up from sleep. So um here we go. <clears throat> Thank y'all for coming to the video. I appreciate everyone being here. Um I hope y'all like the background because um I made sure then I record anything for the actual video of my audio. It won't be a live commentary. I plan to make this video about 10 minutes, maybe a little over. But this will be a continuation to um, what if Deku was the only guy with a quirk. But the way I'm going to weasel my way to get more story out of this is very simple, right? Because how we're going to do this is we're going to have it to where Deku... Um, goes on dates and stuff, but the during the time period they would be going on dates and going on this is during the time that they would have been doing, you know, fighting. Um, hold up, <sighs> they would have been fighting. What's his face? The um, uh, the dude with the quirk. Uh, overall, they're not gonna fight overhaul because. And Deku and Miria took him out with the noise in the car. And the, why is this dude naked? Like, they took him out. So, during all this point in time, um, with them, with that being said, they were able to talk to Aries because Deku was way more assertive and aggressive and masculine in this version. Don't get too, don't get too excited, females. And so, with that being said, he was like, nah, something's wrong. And then, you know, he fought, he fought overall, folded her, or him, doesn't matter. Um, then they went to the base, because Aries was like, yeah, it's this way. And then uh, Lemillion was like, hey, bro, it checks out. And then they hopped over and just started wrecking stuff, got the heroes involved. So, basically, during this whole time period is going to be when they're going on the dates and stuff so with that being said that means it's going to be basically like a dumb you know dummy chill dummy big body type of uh scenery everything's going to be nice and chill um so they're going to be able to i'm going to just say they tell the students to rest and um chill out um they could possibly still be technically doing their work studies because it wasn't it was like a 50-50 because it, what ended up happening is their work studies all collided. But I'm going to say that every the, the heroes knew. Like, they were like, yeah, we're going to have to throw some hands eventually. So they did the work study. And, you know, they was like, all right, we're going to have to fight. But then, you know, death folded the dude. So everybody had to reassess their priorities and refocus their, um, their uh, tasks and stuff. And, I'm going to say Deku gets like a crap load of like not money, but maybe some money, maybe a reward or something because like he he did this. And then if I remember correctly, did I, I don't know if I, I want to say he folded one for all. I'm pretty sure I had this version of that detail won't be. I mean, he, he he's not in the story regardless at this point in time anyways. And I'm pretty sure my boy Deku said, oh, no, nah, y'all got me a player. Watch these handles. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna have to relook at that, but I'm pretty sure, but I digress. But with that being said, they're all chilling. So the first date I'm going to do is going to be little mama, uh, uh, Todoroki, right? So after everything's said and done, Todoroki, uh, she come through with the swiftness and she's just like, uh, Deku-chan. And he's like, oh, what? You know, I'm talking to her because he, he just got done with some of the training. And he's like, you're making my heart do that thing again. And Deku's like, do the... <sighs> Deku has flashback to when uh they, you know, she was talking about an eight date. Deku's not stupid. Like, he understands, you know, some of the game. But... <sighs> He understands, you know, some of the game and stuff, but he's just like, all right, whatever. I'm not sure. He gets nice and cleaned up. They go on a little datey date, right? And they just dumb chilling. They're like, all right, bet. And so they're doing their thing, and they're just living like Larry, okay? Um, what I'm going to say happens is 
to uh, tell Ruggie, she's like, you know what? Don't worry about it. She eventually finds the right outfit. All the girls are geeking. Like, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. And it's really weird because it's more of a, I don't want to say harem because some of the other girls I really don't care for, like the pink girl, she's, she's not ugly. Just don't really care for her. Momo, big titties, don't care for her. But I'm going to throw her, probably throw her a bone or throw her in there because I know most of y'all do. Anyways, so they go on the day after everyone fixes up. The, everyone's either jealous, excited, or just pretending not to be jealous. They go on the day, and but what ends up happening is they end up having a date at the at a Todoroki's house, and then um, I can, I could say the genders are swapped or not, but I'll just keep the genders at the house the same. It's just their quirks are useless for the people that are there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And, um, uh, I'm going to say the relationship might be a little bit different with um, Endeavor. Um, I'm going to say the revival ordeal or like the, oh, the overall ordeal of trying to surpass All Might won't, might not be as precedent. Okay, in this family, so maybe we might have a total Roki without a scar. Because I'm just thinking about it. If we were using real world logic, if there was one alpha guy all by himself, even though Endeavor could be like a strong, in anime sense, a strong willed woman, I don't think she would overdo it. But at the same time, she still has the desire to have a, a legit successor. So we could just end up making it to where they she end up popping out a couple babies. And, and thus, boom, she pops out Todoroki. And she was actually going to give up on this last one. But, baha, Todoroki. He, she, she comes through. Ugh. Comes through and it's like, ooga booga. Uh, anyway, so I don't think it's going to be as much malicious. But there's still going to be some neglect, some abuse. You, you know, it's still gonna you still gonna be some of that in the equation. But it won't be nearly as big body, so so during this point when we get to the part where they're, you know, doing that forgiveness arc and endeavors like trying to build himself up to be, you know. I did I did say it was a guy, didn't I? In the one part, uh oh well. I d I'm seeing it a female now. I might change it again. Who knows? It don't really matter to me. But we're gonna have it like that, right? And then they date. I'm not gonna really say too much happens on a date. They might like have a kiss or something. It's if you had to think about it mentally, it'd kind of be like a um like a hint a harem kind of ordeal. Or like if you've ever watched Gentai, where like, you know, the dude has um fun time with all five of the main different girl types the lolly the older woman the the uh american looking woman like you know so it might be on some s like that where it's just like he's talking to one and then that date pretty much happens you know as is and then before we cut off on the 10 minute marker we're gonna end this off with a little action as they're going off and the date goes kind of smooth and everything's going um you know chill and stuff we're going to have it to where Deku and Todoroki um, sees a villain doing some villainous villainy. And then they all look at, they look at each other and like, hey, let's do that thing. <clears throat> hey, hit the, hit, Shoto, hit the ice. She, she I got you. Goosh. Sends a glacier up. Deku pulls out his bow step that he always has on deck. He, and then bop, bop, he, he, he throwing out like he, he's throwing the bow staff in such a way to where it's extending as he hits. So he's hitting the villain, but the villain got handled. So the villain said, get that piece of uh, don't get that uh, stick out. While he he said my bow staff. And before he got mad, Deku got like big body Millie Rock on some uh, big five, uh, big fifth grader on a one year old, not a one year old, a uh, first grader. <laughs> Deku was like, wait, 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 no. Got knocked down into a wall. He's like, oh, wait. Hold up. Why couldn't I not cancel this dude's quirk? Wait. Hold up. I'm off balance. And before he could do nothing, this dude just looking at him menacingly on some just, what you trying to do, little Nick? He's like, wait. 
no, wait. And then he was about to like get folded and the Shoto came out of nowhere and was just like, die. No, 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 no. It would have been like, I learned this one, one from Bakugo. Die. And then just obliterated this thing. But since it wasn't a human, I'm going to say it was a no move. Not a no move, a super no move. He said, goodbye. And like crispy, the dude, Daiku got up with the swiftness. That was weird. I wasn't able to cancel a quirk. And Shoto was like, what if you did cancel a quirk, but he had too many? Like when that one time you was fighting a, a one for all. And he was like, hey, bro, you might got a point. Thank you for watching the video. I love y'all. Y'all have a good time. Catch y'all.